once you have these audiences set up, there's not a lot of testing that you actually need to do with the audiences. It's more with the ads. So revisiting the audiences, the beauty in this is once you set up these audiences, they are there for you to use and they're, they're automated. So they're always there and you can tap into them to place ads to them. And like even the one with the Facebook or the, um, the website traffic. So if you say, for example, I'm building an audience of people that have visited my website within the last 30 days. If I visited your website 31 days ago, I would fall off of that list. So it's dynamic. And they're always, Facebook's all, always updating that information for you. So you don't need to test so much with the audiences, except if you are doing what we call saved audience, which is the cold traffic or the interest groups. Again, I just bring it back to Michelle Bridges, that one, that example, right? So it's, if you have that, then as a, especially as a newer business, then you are going to need to test that. You are going to need to build a few of these audiences because you don't know if people that are like Michelle Bridges and, and that group is going to work better than perhaps moms and, and mother groups that shop at sort of Aldi are going to work better, right? Or those that shop at David Jones or some of the department stores here in Australia. So that is the t that's really the only testing you need to do. So as established business, you have all this lookalike audiences and, and um, data that you already have, which puts you kind of in a better spot straight away. Um, for the ads, so the ads would be the next step in this equation. So there's two sets of ads that you can run that are automated. And the first one is that you set an ad to get leads. So leads into your funnel, into your opt-in, into your landing page, into whatever you're giving away, you know, as a lead magnet to build your business. So first ad is that. And that ad, again, you would be placing to, if, if you, um, you know, more established business, you do that to all your lookalike audiences. So people that are similar to your email list, because obviously you don't need to target your email list because they're already on your email list. But similar to your email list, uh, website traffic, um, people that like your page as well. So you're pretty much doing most of your audiences. You're just adding those into when you're creating an ad. You're basically saying, I'm just going to target all these audiences and I'm going to create an ad that is set to get leads into my funnel. And then step two, the other automated ad you can place is one that's triggered to go out uh, basically to people that are entering into your funnel. So you're attracting leads and now you have an ad that you can send out to people that are in your funnel for seven days or even 14 days. And that's just another audience that you guys create, by the way. So that's another website traffic audience. And this audience, when you're creating it, you go to audiences, custom audiences. Uh, and then from there, it says website traffic. And then there's an option in there to say um, for people that land on a certain URL. So for visit a certain URL. So what you do is you take your thank you page of your funnel. So that's your success page, right? So if somebody opts in, then they go to the thank you page. And that's how you know people are in your funnel. So you set up an audience basically saying, okay, so everybody that has hit this URL within the last seven days, I'm going to create an audience for them. And so that's the, the second ad I'm talking about. So you put that ad out to those people and you already know that they're really, really fresh. They're a warm target market. They're right. They've just entered into your funnel. And now you can have an ad that you're promoting to the, anyone that's, that's entered your funnel in the last seven days that basically promotes your products or services. And that ad can be automated because that audience is a seven day audience. So people are going to come in and slip straight off. So the ad can always be there ticking along behind the scenes. You have your lead gen one and your follow up to your leads. So those are the two core automated ads. Obviously, there's more that you can do, but those are the two that if you let those go behind the scenes, then you're constantly building leads and then promoting your products or services to those leads.